What is going on guys and girls? It's your boy 8-Bit Motor Vlogs here back with another video. Today we are going to be going over the two settings that I've been testing. So just to give you a bit of an example when I put the camera correct way up it didn't seem to want to uh, you know be at the correct position so to speak I think I could solve that if I jump on super view but I could only do that with 1080p 60fps now the current view that you have on your screen now is 2.7k 60fps wide angle view to be honest, I love the super view look and it looks so amazing. It just it helps so much more. So please, without further ado, let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram, which you prefer. I personally, I, I would go for better resolution overall because of the downgradable quality. So you can downsize it and it will still look nice crispy clean however looking back on the raw 1080p footage I found it to look just as good as the 2.7k my only gripe with it is you notice the smoothness on 60fps like the, the difference between them that could be you know end uh, rendering scenario or because I've been playing it from the SD card straight off without looking at it but I will look back and, and give you an answer on that anyways so yeah so this is 2.7k 60 FPS again Let me know what you think of that. Also, I, I will let you know, basically, I've set the GoPro up to, um, in regards to low light. When this happens, it will change the FPS, so it will be more or less reactive as to just setting the FPS to 60 or to 30 is going to react to low light situations and adjust the FPS accordingly. Now, this is an effective uh, technique to have. However, I noticed sometimes there's a bit of a hiccup in the footage. Now that's unnoticeable anyway, and obviously you can cut out bits. It's not, not too much of a problem, but I... D I do love this super view angle in the 1080p one. Let's just go back to it. I absolutely love it. I could even lower the camera angle a little bit more just so you can see my arms a bit. But obviously when I'm leaning into the tank, you're going to get a lot of tank and not a lot of um, view in front. That's the only downside. And you'll see that in the example above now. So I love this bit. Oh yeah. That's so good. It's just satisfying watching your own clips. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I am absolutely in love with this camera. It's, it's, it's definitely the best thing. It just takes time and adjustments and patience and just getting it right. Like, for example, as you've seen in the other two videos, I literally I couldn't get the angle. Even with the J-hook mount attached, I could not get it. The angle just... It, it was literally, honestly, it was so close to my helmet, angled upwards, that you would think... 
that the lens would catch like that much sky like you have now in in this video and it just wasn't working as as you have you seen and it was a bit bit annoying and then i forgot i actually adjusted my session in the first place to go under my chin as opposed to up on on the chin and the mouth area um personally i i, I like this position it looks it looks awesome it looks it, it makes things come at you more faster because it's more lower to the ground. You, you can see gradients much better and whatnot. So, again, that's for another video anyway, just to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the 2.7K 60fps wide-angle view and the 1080p 60fps super view. Um, both views have stabilization so obviously you're going to get five I think it's five percent but I might be wrong it could be ten percent uh, of a reduced frame so if I went in 30 uh, if I disabled stabilization it would be even bigger then but to be honest because of that you're going to get a fisheye effect and you don't want that on your videos especially well, I mean, you, you could try it out, and we could try it in the future. So, rather than talk your ear off for another three more minutes, I'm going to leave it at that. So, again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please throw a like, dislike, or comment down below. And saying how you, you got on with yours. I'd be interested to hear um, what you think of GoPro, or Drift, or whatever action camera you're using. If you have any questions, please ask, and yeah, as it said in the beginning of the video, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Peace out.